I'm Frida Wolfenden. I'm a senior lecturer at the Open University in the UK and I'm the principal investigator for one of the sub-projects in the Raw for D impact studies. Our project looks at teacher educators in East Africa and their use of open educational resources. There's much acknowledgement that teacher education in many parts of the world is problematic, that it's failing student teachers and they're not being adequately prepared for the life in a classroom, particularly modern classrooms which are multilingual, um, very often very large and often composed of very diverse groups of learners. Um, so the question that we were looking at was how do teacher educators make use of open educational resources in their practice and when they do make use of open educational resources what kinds of changes or movements do we see in their practice and in particular how do we relate those changes to the kind of pedagogies that are being advocated in policy, learner-centred pedagogies. In order to investigate this question, we selected six institutions of teacher education in three countries, Mauritius, Uganda and Tanzania, in East Africa. These were all institutions where we were aware that there had been some previous engagement with open educational resources through particular projects such as TESSA. So we, we expected to find there some people who were using open educational resources. In order to locate those people, we engaged um, a research coordinator or collaborator at each of those institutions. Uh, and this person helped us to select colleagues who they were aware of who had been using open educational resources. So um, in collaboration with our, our research contact at these institutions, we created a survey which was localised for each of the institutions we are working with um, to identify colleagues, um, teacher educators there, who were active with open educational resources. Um, Following receipt of those surveys, we then identified um, 30 to 40 teacher educators who we wished to engage in an interview. And we paid field visits to these six institutions and undertook in-depth, um, in semi-structured interviews with these teacher educators. Our research has revealed that the use of open educational resources remains sporadic and rather fragmented. So in each of the institutions that we visited, we found at least one key person who was engaged with OER, who was passionate about using OER, and we've called those people OER champions. Often they were working with one or two other colleagues, but most of their department or faculty or immediate staff group still had a very low level of engagement with OERs. Uh, we would suggest that this is for a variety of reasons. A key factor is perhaps access. It's still very rare for these educators to have fast internet access on their campuses. And so many of them are accessing the internet through their own personally owned devices, their, their mobile phones. Other factors which um, are impeding use of OER include kind of the cultures within the institution where there are very few opportunities for people to um, share the ideas that um, they've gleaned from the OER, share the practices that they're engaging with. Um, none of the institutions had a very explicit policy around OER use and hence there was no reference to OER use in policies that link to academic promotion for example. So it's difficult for some um, teacher educators, academics to see why personally they should be motivated to engage with OER. However, the small group that are engaged passionately with OER we did show um, small shifts in their practice towards the more participatory pedagogy that we were looking at. In particular, we identified three key uh, themes in their interview data where they recounted to us that they were um, engaging with more knowledge sources with their students, encouraging their students to interact with a wider range of resources from across the globe, but also to draw on the, the resources that students themselves are bringing to the lessons or the lectures. Secondly, we saw that those educators were encouraging students to become much more autonomous, independent learners, whether that was through um, 
creating materials themselves, which then they shared within the class or engaging with materials online outside the class. Um, and lastly, we felt that those educators were encouraging a culture of um, learning right, across the, their particular classes, uh, both informal and formal learning, which was highly inclusive. We suggest that if um, OER are to become truly embedded in these institutions of teacher education, then we need to attend both to practical issues such as internet connectivity and giving people devices in which they can adapt um, OER such as laptops, but also probably more critically we need to start to provide opportunities for people to have professional dialogue around teaching and learning, around the kinds of activities that they're engaging with with their students and how they're preparing those activities because without those opportunities to engage in, in sharing we feel that people are, will remain isolated with the, the materials perhaps that they've been using for quite some time.